So the first thing that comes to mind here is how this friend dynamic that you talked about, um, I don't know, before, is really magnified. It is. It's showing me more and more. And um, I was just thinking to myself, like, this is, I guess, uh, I open up for me to show me, like, people's, like, true intentions and true colors, I'm assuming. So I'm, like, fighting with myself at the same time of, like, when will be my breaking point with friends? Like, to just say, you know what, that's it. That's it. I'm done. Without feeling bad behind it. Okay. So my suggestion <laughs> is to just slowly start setting those limits. You know, um, I don't know if I um, talked about this before, but I often describe people being in relationships as being in a dance. Yeah. Okay. So as you start setting those limits, you start changing the dance. You're no longer going like this. You pull over here. Mm -hmm. And this person, their first reaction is always going to be to get angry. And Absolutely. They get angry because they're trying to force you back into the role they're used to you being in. Right. You know, whether it's through making you feel guilty, you know, making you think that you did something wrong, you messed something up, this is all your fault, you know, all those types of tactics. And after they're angry, either they're going to choose to meet you over here and create a new dynamic in the relationship or they're going to fall off. Right. So really the only thing you need to do is set the boundaries that work for you, uh -huh. see who stays and see who falls off. Right. 